Omaha family's home during the July 31st storm, they're now on the hook for the vast majority of their roof replacement cost. KETV Newswatch 7's Aaron Hagerty investigates the insurance policy and has tips on how you can avoid a similar situation. Kevin Harris Maley likes to look on the bright side. Nobody got hurt, so it's not the end of the world. Tearing into the home, but then he found himself working through a complicated web of a home insurance policy toward an estimated $17,000 fix. They said that they wouldn't pay like almost 8,000 of that they were asking us to pay. That's because it's an actual cash value policy, not covering the full cost of a new roof, subject to depreciation. After that, in his $7,120 deductible, our insurance company will be paying $2,152.53. So that's kind of where we're like, this doesn't really seem right to us. I work part time at a church and uh, my wife's in health care, so it's uh, certainly not anything that we have on hand at the moment. After reading the first few pages of his policy, he thought he was fully covered. And then they're like, Oh, wait. <laughs> but to find out what was going on, he read all 68 pages. Where I found this loophole was on page 67. That changes the earlier language to read he doesn't get a full replacement for the roof if damaged by wind or hail. It really felt to me like they were really being sneaky. It's a type of policy his roofer says they don't see often. He says it's typically a policy investors carry when owning several properties. I think the homeowners uh, need to be educated better by the uh, insurance agents, the ones selling the policy. That's a message echoed by Janelle Greico, who helps contractors and homeowners work through insurance issues. The commercials need to say, go visit your agent. Don't say, go online. She says come prepared with a specific list of what your home has to be covered. You could have a two-car garage, but somehow somebody wrote it for a one-car garage. And she says go to an insurance broker who sells policies from multiple companies or multiple agents. Now you're going to get a broader idea of who is covering what. Now Kevin knows more for next time he buys home insurance and hopes he can help others avoid the same mess. I know I wouldn't treat my neighbors or friends or anybody I interact in this way. I would, if I'm selling somebody something, I make sure you know what you're getting. In Omaha, Aaron Hagerty, KETV Newswatch 7.